Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and this week we're going to play more Demir Merfolk in Modern. And uh, this week I'm actually bringing a guest along with me. He's a friend of mine, Alpha Moyer, right? Or you also go by Armchair General on Twitch, which you play, yeah, you do a lot armchair. of games and uh, you play some magic, so. Yeah, you mostly pauper. Tell everybody a little about yourself. Um, I'm bad at magic. I used to be a storm player. I'm recovering. I've been two years clean. <laughs> <laughs> you play goblins too. I do play goblins. I still have that deck. <laughs> the only you're still just mad that. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Mad that I'm, I'm still <laughs> mad. You're the only goblins player I know that's ever main decked a fucking sword of fire and ice. <laughs> In modern. Oh god. Yeah. Look, I looked at the meta of our store and realized this will do work. I was right. I mean. <laughs> It did work. I, I I have to give you that. So, like we had two different storm players, you and um, um, two different just guy players. Like it mm. just made sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if uh, anybody has been following along, uh, he is the one of the two people I've been playing Dark Souls with, on Twitch with. So, if you follow him on Twitch, or even if you go to mine, I rehost his stream. So we should be playing tomorrow night because we're about to go through Dark Souls three now. Best souls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had to put down Sif, unfortunately, but it's all right. Well, We're... we got to do it again, basically. Oh, no. Don't don't tell me things like that. <laughs> don't worry. This one's not a good boy. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, as far as this deck is concerned, where, yeah, I'm not going to change anything from last time. I think that the, the loss was a really close match versus Shadow, and we got paired up against Lantern Control, which I don't re really expect to defeat with, like, any version of Merfolk, so... Hold on, back up. People still run that? <laughs> Apparently, yes. It's becoming a little bit more popular. Not, like, taking over the metagame or anything, but, like, people have picked it up again, so... Well, hopefully they never unban Mox Opal, because we'll just be a flood of that. No, Mox Opal and Faithless Looting are fucking gone forever, alright? They need to stay I, gone. I agree with Faithless Looting. Well, I'm also kind of worried for Pauper right now, because of that stupid... Printing indestructible dual artifact lands well, as I, commons. Didn't they just also print like a squirrel storm card that like could very easily ruin Popper? I'm sorry, they what now? <laughs> I didn't see that at all. Do you didn't? See, what is it? Chatter storm or something like that? Chatter storm? I'm sorry if you can hear my keyboard. I'm now looking this up. Oh, yeah. oh my god, it is. Let me see if I can find a picture. Yep, it is a two drop sorcery create a squirrel creature token storm that is getting banned. Right. Yeah, I'm going to say this gets banned within the first month of it being in Pauper. Uh, yeah, here, I, I found it here. I'll, I'll... I already pulled it up myself. Oh, yeah, I'm else. putting okay. it on here on here so people can see the the screen yeah. here. Yeah, that, that, this is the card. Yeah, it's yeah a, a colorless and a green. It just makes a 1-1 one, one squirrel a storm. So, so, yeah, for anybody who doesn't play Pauper, you have to understand that Basically, every single storm card is like banned from Popper, except like um, one really bad one <laughs> that doesn't mm, actually do anything. No, there's two, and one of them is used a lot. Or uh, wait, what was it? Uh, the weather one... the storms used. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there is weather the storm. Yeah, that... and then there's the one that gets basic lands to your hand. And there's a combo deck around that one that's garbage. Yeah, yeah. So, like, Storm and Popper is like so ridiculously oppressive. They banned basically every good storm card. <laughs> they kind of had to. But they still haven't banned Manamorphos for some stupid reason. Well, apparently they might have to now because Chitter st or Chatterstorm is probably going to make it a deck again. Um, no, actually, it's not going to need Manamorphos. It's probably going to be in an arcane blue shell of some sort using the arcane untap triggers on lands. You would know better than me because you play a lot more popper than I do these I do. days. So. But yeah, if I knew if anybody was going to be excited by a card like that, it'd probably be you. <laughs> oh no, I'm terrified. <laughs> so... The, the good news is that Popper has a few more sweeper options to deal with that stuff, so as long as they don't get haste, which honestly they probably will, so it might not matter, but uh, maybe we're, we're going to see like main deck electricaries or something, who knows. Oh, we already see that actually. Yeah, so... They're, like, Every they're, color but green runs some form of board wipe already. There are tools that can fight against stuff like that, but like Storm and Popper is just usually oppressive, so... My guess is going to be that it's going to get banned at some point. <laughs> so yeah, you should actually look at this through some of the spoilers. There's some pretty insane stuff, I think. That's oh, I have, 
I have been keeping up with it for a little bit, but I kind of wanted to keep it a surprise for when I drafted. Oh, I don't know if you saw that we're getting a Merfolk God for this deck, which is going to be... Yeah, I did. Yeah, so... Uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to have it for, for like the week after it comes out, but it, it might be like a week or two before I get it on here. I don't know. Like, I think I think Modern Masters 2 comes out in MTGO in like next week or something, so... It's... I, I six. Yeah. It's going to be a huge drain in my wallet. I have to support this channel myself. I have, all these cards are stuff that I have paid for, and I don't get anything in return for this. So, uh, um, so magic. So, like uh, the video, uh, you know that that helps that helps me feel better about this investment. He yeah. has invested a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Magicus. Um, so, are you doing the deck tech, or did you say you're editing that in later? Uh, no, this is the deck tech. We're talking about it now. Oh, cool. We're, we are recording this now. I told you that we were doing this, so... Uh, I don't pay attention. Yeah, I know you don't. That's that's fine. But, yeah. The, 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 the thing is, like, this is the same list that I played last week, so there's not a whole lot to go over with this, but... Alright, so Cavern of Souls is only at 2 of because you run a lot of known creatures, I see. Well, yeah, because, like, you can't cast Drown in the Lock off of Cavern of Souls, so... And this is, like, mm -hmm. the card the deck is centered around here. So, like the creeping targets. yeah, I'll, I'll go over it because you haven't seen this before. So, the idea is... Merfolk, Wind Robber, and Thought Scour are ways to put cards in the opponent's graveyard, so that way it fuels your own Drown in the Lock. So it's a counter spell and a removal spell for the deck. So, and With then counter spell hitting though, won't that just be better than Drown in the Lock in most cases? Well, maybe. There's there's been a lot of debate over that actually. I've seen, but we've had a ton of new people in the Fish Discord, so there's some debate. I think in Mono Blue, like the counter spell is going to be great as like it's going to replace Deprive easily, but. There mm -hmm. still might be metagames where you want Drown in the Lock just because it's also a removal spell. So if something like, say, Dryad of the, Le the Elysian Grove comes out, like you actually have a spell that can deal with it. That's fair. So I don't know, it, we'll see. And the other nice thing is that since we're playing black, you know, Meyer Triton fits in this deck pretty well with the Luris over here. I mean, um, yeah, that's a good way to make value. Yep, Death Touch is awesome, um, and Creeping Tarpid is a perfect replacement for Mita Vault in this list because it makes both of your colors. It's unblockable by itself, and uh, yeah, I, I've I've enjoyed three copies of this card here a lot. So, so I'm going to ask a silly question: Is there a world in which Unearth is worth running because of? I have heavy thought stuff? about that. I've really tried to see if there's a spot I wanted to play one in, and I just don't know. I don't know where I would play it, but like it's something that yes, like Unearth is definitely very playable in this deck. Like you could modify it. Maybe you cut like a Mire Triton or something to play one. But it's specific, reason, it's yeah. good because if your Luris dies, it's a way to get it back, and it's like that's one the of only the, reason I was thinking about it because it's yeah. just infinite value. Then it's like the only way to get Luris back in this kind of deck. So yeah, but still, like usually, if like this deck doesn't have much of a problem getting Luris out and getting value out of it before it dies. So. I've, uh, I've actually cast Laris probably more with the Demir deck than I have in, like, every other version of Merfolk combined. That uh, makes sense. For some reason, it just works really well in this shell, so... I think and, that's because this one can do a longer game better. Uh, kind of. Like, the longer the game goes, the better Drown in the Luck gets, so there is something to that. So, alright, we've been talking long enough. We're gonna get into a game here. Alright. Alright, well, here we go. We are on the play. Against never didn't have it. I think that might be the most commonly said phrase between you and me after a game of Magic. Well, we're both playing Luris. This hand is absolutely fucking terrible. We have six lands, so uh, that's a mulligan. God, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> God damn it. All right, well, I guess we're keeping this, and we're going to put... This hand's actually pretty nice, though. It's not really that great, because they're probably going to Thought Seize us immediately, so... I guess I'm... What? Oh, they mulliganed to five. They were about to mulligan to four. What the fuck just happened? They mulled to five and then conceded from the game. Like, just gave up the entire match? Oh, yeah, no. What the well, hell? Okay, well, this is going to be a really short video for today. So much for two hours. <laughs> all right, no. But, all right, so everybody, let's review what happened here. So we were on the play. We to five. We were, no, 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 no. In order. We were on the play. We revealed Laris. They revealed Laris, as you can see here. Uh, Both players proceeded to mull to we, five. We were on, yes, yeah, so we were on the play, so we mulliganed first. They mulliganed. We mulled to five. They mulled to five. 
And then we were going to keep five, except they conceded from the game and then conceded the entire match. I don't understand what the fuck just happened. <laughs> the salty scoop. The salty raisin bran. But why? Like, how? I don't Salty know. raisin bran. But we were both on, like, five cards. Like, how? how is that? I, I, I can't. You might not have realized you mulligan, too. I just, I fucking can't. I don't get it. All right, well, this this <laughs> is uh, the shortest fucking match I've ever had in this channel. All right, well, it's, a, it's a good thing that Deck Deck was, like, eight minutes long. All right. I mean, it's just my luck rubbing off on you. All right, she, yeah, you know, that's a fair point, you know. He has a stupid amount of, like, just pure bullshit luck that just happens all the time. And I can't that being explain said, it, it goes both extremes. Yeah, like, either things work out really, really well for him, or really, really poorly, so... I guess we're just benefiting from that. See? That's the... It's it's a strategy. That's, <laughs> we're calling this a strategy, I guess. I can feel the air quotes. <laughs> Alright, well, everybody, please give this a thumbs up. Leave some comments about how you thought the match went, and what different plays you might have made during it so wait does that make me your 76th card i i mean i guess yeah all right everyone i'll see you tomorrow